Dear colleagues and the conference participants, our present paper deals with the problem of online communication simulating spaces for teaching effective foreign language communication. Communication as such has been long ousted by more sophisticated effective communication. So our primary concern was to analyze how digital tools can facilitate and provide for further development of effective online communication in dangerous environments. The present study continues the pre previous research in the field of developing mass media technologies by a team of collaborating scholars in Ukraine, our National Technical University, Kharkiv Polytechnic Institute, with its new branch of scientific and methodological laboratory, and Vasil Karazin, Kharkiv National University, doing research in the field of foreign language learning, and is focused on the introduction of newly developed simulating platforms. The modern trends of effective communication research unavoidably include multimodal studies of communication simulation online and eco-linguistics with its bias to intangible as nonverbal, harmonious communication, and in its present phase, even space simulation through new digital platforms, which adhere to the Paul Grice's maxims of communication and Einar Haugen's language ecology. Taking into account the problem of lack of movement in online learning, the present study examines in detail the effect of space simulating platforms on learning effective communication skills and then making learning online a playground full of fun. The aim of teaching foreign languages at our institutions is developing students' communicative competence as a systematic number of skills. The seven principles, the seven C's of communication are clarity, conciseness, concreteness, correctness, coherence, completeness, courtesy. The data is obtained from the students' and teachers' interviews. The problem to be solved in the practical part of the study is related to the challenge of developing offline communication skills under the state of war in Ukraine, especially in the region of Kharkiv, with this total online mode of learning. The initial data of the experiment, the first part of the survey, show that classes in the format of conventional video conferencing can be perceived as static and partially boring. This fact is explained by neurophysiological processes in the human body. The lack of movement provokes early loss of motivation to study. The movement activities instead activate blood circulation and bring competition into play. In this study, the movement techniques in the learning were implemented based on the theory of mirror neurons. This function makes it possible to simulate movement online by watching, listening, video, audio files during online classes. Using elements of virtual reality constructed in co-working online platforms, CSS, communication simulated spaces in this study, like spatial chat, wonder me, high hive, <clears throat> makes it possible to involve the participants deeper and more impersonal interaction. <clears throat> the developed educational model is enhanced by principles of edutainment. <clears throat> the latter in their turn provoke hedonistic effects conducted on platforms like ThinkLink, learning apps, quizzes, Padlet, <clears throat> Quizlet, Kahoot, Virtual speech, small talk, explain everything, word wall. The application of the results of the research on the effectiveness of interactive platforms <coughs> in blended learning under the pandemic, e-learning under the state of war, allowed us to use the most effective online tools applied to the seven C's as follows. The novelty of our approach lies in the integration of these well-known tools into simulators of the communicative environment, represented in the study by the three already mentioned CSS platforms, 
spatial chat, one to me, hi, hi. The distinctive feature is that the volume of the sound you hear depends on the distance of your avatar from its source. <clears throat> Proximity sensors automatically adjust volume levels. The other advantages include messaging and presentations, embedding static images and GIFs, videos, and even separate browser tabs into a common space Customized setting, including changeable 3D backgrounds, expressive and personalized avatars. The experimentally proven model of communication skills training CSS based toolkit includes edutainment exercises that are effectively used in online learning and can be implemented on static online platforms. One, CSS on the warming up stage develop the communicative aspect of correctness, make it possible to transfer passive vocabulary into active and contribute to forming the skills of teamwork and brainstorming. Two, CSS on the reproductive stage, develop listening skills and the speed of prolocutionary reaction to a language message, maximize movement simulation. Three, CSS on the productive stage serve to train communicative formulas, promote the conscious use of language variability, the development of soft skills of cooperativeness, and empathy to individualize the approach to the interlocutor and the soft skill of personal responsibility. To prove the effectiveness of the CSS-based toolkit, there was the second stage of the surveys at the end of the term. In brief, most educators, 66.7% stated that online communication under e-learning can still prepare for real life conversation. The enormous numbers from 67.8% to 88.2% of those who claim their learning process is harmonious denotes that the firm basis set by previous scientific investigations is operating correctly. Also, it is noteworthy that students when asked about the ways to improve their seven C skills amongst quite typical answers like more modern textbooks or classes with native speakers provided one interesting cluster of responses. What is being done is already fine. This signals that university lecturers did succeed in not only maintaining the level of education under martial law, but also in boosting it higher that can be observed by a significant increase in the seven C skills and media competence compared with the initial level of the experiment. We can observe that the students' proficiency level is rising while the number of those who are assessed as low past or satisfactory is decreasing dramatically. The majority of those who answered the questions about the platforms for e-learning and boring effect of online classes recognized the advantages of CSS. To summarize the results of the service and the research, the introduction of the new digital product online is crucial for teaching effective communication online, even though the teachers emphasized their preference of blended learning. And as for the students' attitude, the majority admitted the problem of lack of motion and some of them bored of, of being static, which is easily solved here. However, there are other challenges for teaching effective communication online, namely the relationship issue, the generation gap, the paralinguistics, and the ecology of communication, as well as digital literacy, which may be the subject of further investigation. Thank you for your kind attention.